Okay, so today we have a new member of the group. Uh, Sean, welcome to the Touched by Everton Football Club Manager Support Group. Okay, can you please tell us <coughs> your story, please? My name's Sean, and um, I'm currently being touched by Everton. You know, people warned me, they said, Dicey, don't go there. The fans are angry and violent and miserable. And I said, Look, they're my three favourite things. I love all that. But my God, why didn't I listen? They put old ladies in headlocks. They celebrate finishing 17th in the league with pitch invasions. Fellas of Narcos are buying the bloody club. Why didn't I listen? Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. Apart from you, Frank. You deserve it, mate. No, you really do deserve it. You're crap. Well, actually, Daishi, what you just said is actually really insulting. A lot of people would take offence to that. But not me, Sam. What you just said, that's a great assessment. <laughs> I can't disagree with any of that. But no, serious, I'll probably never work again, will I? My name is Carlo. And I have been touched by Everton. No, I have literally been touched. Big Dunk is a lick of my ear because we score one goal in the Merseyside Derby at Anfield. I still feel his big, wet Scottish tongue infiltrating my eardrum. The next day I was on a flight back to Madrid. I never want to go back there. Oh, mamma mia. Well, I think that my name's Big Sam, and, um, and uh, you can call me Lord Jed, but like I mean, but, but I've been touched by Everton because, um, you know, like I mean, I mean, the, the Everton fans are disgusting. They, they once threw a, a st you know, loads of meat and potato pies at me, like I mean, and even though they know my favourite flavour, steak and kidney. <laughs> But uh, and another time they chased me down County Road with pitchforks because um, you, you lot like, like, like I mean in, into a Greg's. Well, well, well I, I happened to be in the Greg's at the time, like I mean, but it was just my mid-morning snack, like I mean. <laughs> my name's Frank, and I've been touched by Everton. But no, serious, it ruined my career, my marriage, and my health. Yeah, hello, my name is Rafa, and I have been touched by Everton Football Club. <laughs> and I loved every minute of it. <laughs> It was the best time of my life! <laughs> Honestly, it was better than Istanbul! <laughs> I made more dough in three months ruining everything <laughs> than I did in five years in Liverpool! <laughs> Honestly, what are you all crying about? <laughs> we all got paid millions for absolutely ruining them! <laughs> I would go back tomorrow! <laughs> and I wouldn't rule it out with Farhar! <laughs> Unless he sells the club to Pablo Escobar! <laughs> it's killing me! <laughs> the Everton fans blamed me for losing 56 games. Although I did only manage 37. <laughs> but no, serious, I still walked away with a 10 million quid payoff in the Chelsea job three weeks later. There's 45,000 of them now! Protesting outside my house with signs saying, Lego head out! Leave the city or die, die, she signed. Honestly, all because Michael Keane had red shin pads on the other day. Honestly, all I ever hear, everywhere I go, boo, boo, boo. I know exactly how you feel, Sean. But no, seriously, they threatened to kill my family because I played seven at the back at home to Accrington Stanley in the FA Cup. Look what Everton's done to us. Look what it's done to us. You know, to put a few extra quid in our bank account, which is great, but look. Look what it's done to us, right? It's time I get revenge. It's time I get revenge for all of us. This is the year, lads. This is the year I'm going to take them down to the championship. I'm going to take them down. We can do this. Revenge. It's revenge time. 